welcome to this video. Today we are gonna do a digital declutter. We already did a phone declutter and honestly I could stand to do another one. But today we're talking all about your laptop workspace. So if you guys have any sort of laptop, computer, desktop, I'm gonna be giving you guys my decluttering and organization tips for like how to keep this all in order. I think that my organization system has saved my life. I feel way less stressed, less overwhelmed. When it comes to organization systems, you just have to figure out what works for you. Not everyone is gonna be the same. It took me a little bit to figure out what system works the best for me, but now I finally have figured it out and I've been using this organization system for like years now and it works great. So I'm gonna be explaining to you kind of my tips and showing you how I label things, how I organize things, and how I declutter my laptop once and for all. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to declutter your desktop, your downloads, and your trash, okay? But in order to declutter this, we're gonna have to go through all the files and find places for them. Meaning we're gonna need to create some folders on the desktop, okay? Now, let me just tell you, you want your desktop to be relatively clean because if you have a lot of things on your desktop, it actually slows down your computer. So what we're gonna do is make a very organized system of folders, and then within the folders, you can put as many files and folders as you want. But on your desktop, let's just keep it pretty minimal. We're gonna start today by just making a couple of folders. So what I suggest doing is making one folder for pretty much every element of your life. So as you can see on my desktop, I have these folders. I have one for Instagram, merch ideas, other projects, personal, Photoshop, PNG and stock photos, resources, self-made CEO, to sort, as you can tell, that was a folder that I didn't sort things through for a long time. I had a bunch of stuff on my desktop and then I created a folder. Oh, it looks like I actually sorted through it already. Okay, so I can delete that. And then YouTube. I'm not gonna lie, I have too many folders. I actually need to go through and declutter this myself, but I'm just gonna show you an example. So in my self-made CEO folder, as you can see, I have like a subfolder for each of these categories that I have. So if you go to logos, for example, you can tell I have some old logos. These are, wow, the very first concept ideas of my self-made CEO podcast logo. That's funny. But then as you can see, these are where I kind of have the stuff that I use every day. It is so important when it comes to really organizing your files that your labels make sense so as you can notice all of these ones I have kind of the term studio underscore logo and then the color so this just helps you to like group everything together that goes together and I'm gonna show you how to label that right now so right now I'm gonna show you how you can make folders and subfolders and how to label if you are for example a student but you can emulate this exact same system for basically any aspect of your life if you have a job if you are a student if you run a business whatever it is so if you are a student here's what I recommend you first would create a new folder and you would call it like senior year. I like all caps personally. So you call it senior year and then within the senior year folder, I would recommend putting a subfolder for each class. So let's say like English, history, for example, right? The next part is up to you. I would recommend potentially making another folder that's like each month or if you're just really good at labeling your files, you don't even need that. You can just have it in chronological order based on date and I'm going to show you what to do. So we're just going to pretend that this image is like an English assignment. <laughs> and see how the February and January are not in chronological order? This is just like a little pet peeve of mine, but something I would probably do is put like 01 underscore 02, just so it's like very in order. And pro tip, I like using underscores because it just separates the words, but in a very like labeled official way. If you don't want underscores and you just want spaces, that's fine, but I think it helps keep everything very consistent. So let's say that this image was an assignment from like January 10th. There are a couple ways that you could label this. Number one is you could do like 01 underscore 10 underscore writing underscore assignment. And then let's say on the 12th, you have study guide questions. So you can label them in chronological order. You can do this with anything or you could label them by category. So let's say these are both pop quiz study guides. You could write like pop quiz 01, pop quiz to. That's really just gonna be up to you. That's totally just a matter of preference. To show you guys a quick example of kind of how I organize things, if you go to my folder called main footage, this is where I put my main channel footage. So everything in here is stuff that I have not uploaded or edited yet. If I go to my old footage folder, as you can see, this is insanely organized. So literally this is every video that I posted in 2019. This is all the footage. So what I decided to do as my system is I labeled each video just a number in order. This was my second video, third video, fourth, fifth, sixth. And what I did 
did is I actually had that corresponding number also correspond to my thumbnails. So if I go to my thumbnails, you can see thumbnail one, two, three, four, five, six. So this corresponds. This number corresponds to the footage, which also corresponds to the finished video. If I go to this finished videos folder, main channel, I have one, two, three, four, five, right? So it's super easy for me to right away, I know that my footage is all in this main footage folder under here, under a number, I can find the thumbnail right there and I can find the finished video in my main channel finished video folder. And that's the system that I have found that works best for me. Okay, so once the folders are made, it's time to actually go through your computer of all the files that you currently have. You're gonna go through your desktop, downloads, documents, and trash. If you look at my desktop right now, there's definitely like way more things on here than I mean for there to be. What I recommend doing is deciding that you're gonna do it like once a week or once a month or every day or just randomly when you think about it. That way stuff doesn't pile up and get cluttered. So then you're basically gonna go to your downloads folder, do the exact same thing. I'm gonna spare you because you don't need to watch me do this a million times. Basically look at every little folder on your computer. And then the next thing you're gonna do is empty your trash. Keeping things in your trash is going to slow down your computer, make it more cluttered. I do recommend using like an offline type of storage as well, like a cloud storage. If you guys do have a MacBook or some sort of Apple laptop, you can have offline access on your phone. You can actually see your desktop. So that's why I'm okay with doing this. But I also tend to put stuff in Google Drive. So as you can see with like my podcast folder, for example, these are all episodes that have already been uploaded and every time I have a, an episode of my podcast that's going live, I have to send the producers this document that basically has the title, the description that I want them to put on the episode. So like here, I have a very well-organized folder. As I'm recording an episode, I create a document and keep it here in this main podcast folder. Once that episode is up, like today, this episode just went up, I can actually drag this to past episodes and they will still have access if they need it. So then I click on past episodes and and if you go all the way to the bottom, there it is in perfect order, which is very satisfying and makes me very happy. The next thing that I wanna show you that I get questions on all the time is this Chrome extension called Momentum. I don't actually love the picture that it showed today. It's usually like some beautiful picture of the earth from some city. It has the time, it says, good afternoon, Adrian, or good night, or good morning. And you can actually type like, what's your main focus for today? I'm gonna be filming this video. And then you can actually also create like a to-do list here. And I actually used to use this and clearly this is old stuff, so I'm just gonna check this off. But if you say a new to-do, like film, video, edit, video, it's just kind of a nice little extension that you can add. So I will put instructions in the description box for how to add this. I wanna do a whole video, honestly, on Chrome extensions, because I think there are so many apps and extensions that can just help with productivity and organization that I think you guys would love. So the next tip I'm gonna give you guys is to use bookmark folders. Oh my God, I cannot explain to you how useful this has been. When I get email threads that have attachments and documents that I need to reference, or if I know that there's some document I always need to pull up, instead of finding the link, I put everything in bookmark folders. So if you notice, I have this self-made CEO folder. These are like every little website and document that I regularly go to. So when I just pulled up my podcast folder, instead of like going to my drive and looking for the folder, I literally just click self-made CEO and then I click podcast and it brings me right to the folder. So how you do this is you click this star and you just name it and then you make a folder that it can be in. I highly recommend doing this for personal stuff. If you're a student, finances, I have every document and you know, for personal, I have here's my car insurance and here's my doctor's thing and my rent and my, all these things are just like under these folders. Same with YouTube, I even have like Instagram. I have literally everything. And then I also right here, just on the top of the bar, have the ones that I use the most. So like Airtable, this is what I use to plan and organize my YouTube video ideas. This would also work amazingly well for school if you're a student, I just have it right here, easy access, go to Chrome, click on the button, and here is my YouTube video tracker and organization. I definitely, again, wanna do a whole video on the apps and extensions, so I'm not gonna go completely into Airtable, but I will leave the link down below. My next tip is to organize your notes, and this goes for both your phone and your computer. If I pull up my notes app right now, I have actually made a folder called Video Scripts. So basically, every time I create a new note and I type out ideas for a video, I right click on it and I say move to, and then I put it in this video scripts folder. I recommend doing this just because I know my notes can be super overwhelming. Sometimes I'll pull out a note and write like a book title that I should get, but I find that I like don't go through the notes enough, so I end up having hundreds of them. So this is a really good way to declutter is to create an organization system within your notes, because if you're someone who uses them a lot, 
you probably get overwhelmed as well. My last and final tip is to create a master list of where all of these things are. So this might sound a little bit redundant, like, oh, you're organizing everything and then you're gonna make a list of what you did to organize everything. But the reason I find this helpful is especially when you're first starting to create a system and you're trying to figure out which one works best for you, you're going to forget where you decided to put things. I do this all the time where I'm like, wait, where did I put my Photoshop file? And yes, you can search on your computer, but like sometimes it's nice to have a master list that can just reference it. Like, oh, I put my video files all on my hard drive. So I recommend making a note or a Google doc master list of where you can find anything. So those are my tips for organizing and decluttering your laptop. I hope that you found this helpful. Feel free to leave other video suggestions down in the comments. I hope that you guys liked this and I will catch you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe for more decluttering videos. Let me know what you want me to talk about next and I'll see you next time. Bye.